If you've been wondering what to get your father, cousin, brother, uncle, yourself for Christmas, here are 20 great gift ideas that we personally co-sign. Listen, guys, it's holiday season. I'm sure you guys are going to be inundated, bombarded with so much marketing material. Andrew, but how do you cut through the fray? We came through with a list of 20 things that we personally use all the time so you know that we can co-sign it and we can recommend it to you. Buy it as a gift. Use it for yourself. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Um, Andrew, number one, we're going to start off with the air fryer. Mm, you're a big proponent of the air fryer. Go preach. preach. Listen, guys, there's memes about how much people love their air fryer for a reason. It's one of the only kitchen items that non-cooks love to use, Andrew, and chefs love to use. So I'm telling you, Andrew, it cooks things quicker than you possibly ever could have thought. What it turns a lot, of, there's a lot of articles written by people who hated cooking, <clears throat> who cook now because they have an air fryer. Yeah, and I'll tell you this, chicken thigh, man, I don't know if there's anything that cooks a chicken thigh better than an air fryer, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, you can get an egg steamer if you want to go a little bit cheaper. Maybe you don't want to commit I, to a $150 air fryer. I, I would like to recommend the egg steamer. It's uh, also a great option for steaming things. Uh, easier to clean. It's not as smelly. And the reason why you love the air fryer, Andrew, it, it's not just for money savings or energy savings or not using the oven. It's literally because it's healthier. You can go to Trader Joe's. You can get the pre-prepped vegetables, the proteins. You can learn to cook yourself because here's the truth, Andrew. Uber Eats... None of that stuff cares about your macros. No. Like, literally, you'd have to order from a specific meal prep service. Anything right. on Uber Eats does not care about your macros. Okay, so let's say people are convinced. They're like, all right, man, I got to get the air fryer. What are the things you need to do? Some accessories for the air fryer to make your air frying experience the best possible. All right, so one of the things that discourages people is cleaning, right? So you get the parchment paper. You get the silicone liners. You get the mm. aluminum liners. Mm. You can get an aluminum foil bag if you're making something that requires that type of thing in the recipe. You probably want to get what, Andrew? An electronic meat thermometer? You you got cheap ones. You got expensive ones. I think you can or cannot get this. You don't need it. But yes, get it if you want. Now they even got air fryers that are like a steamer on the bottom and an air fryer on top. That's like a brand new thing. You can cook ah! your pasta, you know, your carb on the bottom, along with the vegetables. You throw your protein on top. Um, you could throw some electronic salt and pepper seasoning grinders in there. Guys, I will be honest. If in a situation where you don't want to cook and you start cooking because of the air fry, it will change your life. And I know that sounds really ridiculous, but it could change your life. It sounds like a meme. Yes. Um, you can even cook like jammy sort of soft boiled eggs in theirs and things like that. Also, here's an unintended uh, result of an air fryer, Andrew. I appreciate restaurant food more now because I cook so much for myself. Wow. And obviously when you cook for yourself, you're just using three or four seasonings at the restaurant that use 20. So it actually may lead to more of appreciation for outside food as well. Um, moving on to number two, Andrew, different sauces. You should probably get smala. Smalasauce.com, but just to let you guys know that we're not biased, Andrew, you should get Bachan's Japanese BBQ sauces. Mm -hmm. You should get this Korean egg sauce. Let us know in the yeah. comments section below if there's any other sauces that we have to get. Yo, I love a lot of seasonings. Obviously, if you got the air fryer, one of the easiest things you can do is add some uh, chicken and just season it with some... Even more, I mean, more, whatever seasoning you want. I don't have a certain brand that I'm trying to push right now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, number three, I'm just going to throw this in there real quick. Andrew, you scooter... You scooters, get some you scooters. Yo, the electric scooters, we've talked about this on our channel before. It will also change your life. The mobility, the speed, and the comfort of the you scooter GT and the GT Sport. David, crazy deal. If you want to get somebody this for Christmas, we have a code that will give you $180 off your order. It is the Fung Bros code. Yeah. Get it right now. And you're going to get $120 off a Booster V. Of course, you got to take a look at your own usage situation, but I think a lot more people could use them than they currently think right now. Of course, number four, Dime Basketball. I just think it's the best basketball out. A lot of people still stuck on the Evo, you know, the Wilson yeah. Evolutions. I mean, I, those are very, very hit or miss to me, like in terms of the uh, quality control. Check out uh, Dime Sports Co. on Instagram. Um, number five, Andrew, I have aloe lotion slash hair gel, and I have a quiff roller. You know why I have this on here? Because this is the absolute easiest way that a guy who does not currently put product in his hair can be convinced to put product in his hair. Mm, okay. Because you, when you put the aloe lotion in there, it's not even like it's product. You're just moisturizing your hair, but it gives you some of that look of 
love gel, but you don't even need to wash it out if you don't want to. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you know, I'm going to put up hair powder. Now, this is styling powder. You can get it on Amazon very cheap. It kind of makes your hair gritty, so it gives you volume, right? Even if you don't want to put gel or pomade in there. One thing, I will say it does dry out your hair, so please make sure you wash it out and condition it and then hit it with a little bit of hair oil afterwards yeah. if you want to maintain your hair the most. Get yourself a good conditioner because actually you do not need to use shampoo every day yeah. unless you are like working construction and you're getting dust in there because actually you're just stripping your hair of its oils by overwashing it. Number six, Andrew, I just got a beard trimmer. You know, it's just got one guard on it. Mm. You know, versus like 20 different guards yeah, yeah, like yeah. getting being cluttered they, listen for your trimmers make sure you get one that's adjustable and rechargeable by usb or USB-C. trust yes. me you need the one that is USB-C or USB rechargeable. That is the best and adjustable guard that is going to be the easiest to use. You can use it on your beard. You can use it on your armpit and other parts. If you want, you should wash it. You I'm do not saying. need the expensive one from that one brand that also makes it, but trust right. me, you don't need that. If it's got 4.5 out of five on Amazon with thousands of reviews, it's not going to be bad. It's, <sighs> in fact, it's going to be good at the very minimum. Moving on, Andrew. Number seven, I've got Korean skincare products. And the reason why I love Korean skincare products is because Japanese skincare products, also very good, kind of expensive. Right, right, right. I Co think Korean ones coming in a, a notch, like they have more levels. They have more levels. <laughs> yeah, and I would say a lot of guys out there they do not have a good moisturizer. I'm not saying Cetaphil is not good enough or CeraVe is not pretty good. Not, but, not built for Asians. But, but if you just buy one facial moisturizer and you keep it for your face and you do that twice a day, man, I think it's good for your face, man. Guys, guys, a lot of guys don't, out there don't want to buy their own yep. little moisturizer because they think it's they do foofy or whatever. Trust me. Do it. Andrew, look at this. You can get face masks if you buy them in bulk for 50 cents each or mm. like 60 cents right now. You can get a very special, you know, moisturizer, face wash, $10, thousands and thousands of ratings, guys. Listen, you don't need to go get the $100 one. Do I think the $100 face cleanser cleansers are like probably with better ingredients? Yeah, but are you going to spend 100 nice. realistically? Moving on to eight, Andrew, stride line socks and gold toe socks. This is what I wear to play basketball. You know, sometimes I wear both of them at the same time. Uh, I really believe in stride line. Stride line, they're, they're from Seattle, kind of expensive. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. $16 a pair. Ooh. But the, Andrew, I know you, you love, you will hoop in. Uh, just a pair of gold toes. I like the gold toes, man. I like kind of how the classic look is. Also, I can wear them for fashion as long as they're still white. Uh, but they're very thick and comfortable in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I mean, I wore a size 10. So the Nike Elite socks, they're, they're designed to fit from like 9 to 12. They were always too floppy and thick on my feet. Mm. Like the Nike Elite ones are super thick. Uh, they could be good too. It depends on your foot, guys. You got to look at it. You know, in everybody's individual situation is different. Moving on to number nine, Andrew. Chill Boys Boxers. They are made out of bamboo. Yeah, I, these are really comfortable. And uh, they're, they have some support, but they're not too tight. And they're not briefs, obviously, you know, so they're boxer briefs. They have a little stretch and slight compression to them. But I like it. It's made out of bamboo. Um, it sort of bridges the gap between yeah. a brief and a boxer, but it's more on the boxer yeah, side. Yeah, they're, they dry quick. They kind of feel like dry fit cool. almost, but thicker. You know bamboo is going to be the next big technical fabric. Yeah. Uh, Vori, which is an athleisure brand, they're making a, t they have a, like a bamboo line. I also believe people make the case that bamboo is more eco-friendly as well. Yeah. Moving on to number 10, Andrew, a traveler's bag, uh, you know, bathroom organizer. Yeah. I, I think if everybody had one of these, you could almost organize your entire bathroom in this and you could travel with it. That's mm. how big it is. If you're for the traveling guy, you got to get one of these. Um, for me, I try to stay minimal. So I think my travel bag's like half the size of this, but you need enough to carry like this much stuff. But literally you could carry your entire bathroom yeah. in one of these. Yes, yes, yes. Um, moving on to a number 11, Andrew, foaming hand soap dispensers. Mm. I mean, I think if you cook a lot, this is really huge too. So right. you don't have to touch the top of your soap dispenser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, hey, get one that's rechargeable. Or battery powered. I think both work, but I would say one that's rechargeable is better. Right. Uh, moving on to number 12, Andrew, we have foot rollers, back rollers, oh, neck man. rollers. I know you oh, use these even more than me. Oh, man. I love stretching. I love staying mobile. Obviously, get the little foot roller for plantar fasciitis. This one really does work. I know that looks 
$26 to roll your foot. Listen, if you can find a cheaper one, go get it. But I'm just saying something that you can roll your foot on and put pressure on is really good. Yeah, most of the products that we listed in this uh, like Christmas consumers guide are the mid-tier. Right. Because at the mid-tier is really where you're going to get probably the best bang for your buck. Yeah, so the Chirp neck wheel, the best one that I found is from the Chirp brand. That's going to run you about 20 some dollars for the little neck one. For this back one, I feel like there's other alternatives that you can get the cheaper one. But... A back stretcher is good. Yeah, of course, there's always going to be a luxury model, guys, and it really depends if you utilize those features or not. Moving on to 14, Andrew, we got the foot massager machine, and I'm saying, man, there's nothing better than watching YouTube Premium while getting your foot massaged. Mm. Um, moving on to number 15, Andrew, for me, I have a vault wallet, and I have a AirPod 2 keychain, and for me, these things are must-haves because my vault wallet is gigantic. I can carry so many different things in it. I carry, like, those uh, non-preservative eye drops in there. I carry, like, Pepto, sticks of gum, all in my wallet, things that normally would be loose in my pocket. Right, right. So that's why I think the vault wallet is so key. And listen, guys, I've had Goyard, Foray Lapage, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, all those things are cool as wallets, but once you like get to a certain point, you just need the utility. Yeah, you don't. They're, they're not as functional. Yeah, and I wish the luxury brands would make some more functional wallets, but they are very much stuck. I on I feel the like that would like go against luxury. Is that brands not cool to be too practical and functional? That's whack, bro. That's uh, not cool. The AirPod keychain is crucial. So many times, so many times, people. I'm like, man, why are you still talking on the phone? Like it's like. Five years ago is because well, you didn't have your AirPods with you. Right, right, right. Number 16, Andrew, microfiber towel. I think yeah. the reason why this is so key is for guys who shower a lot, sometimes you only have one towel, right? So you're taking multiple showers in a day. Maybe you shower to go out, then you went to go lift, and then you're showering again. You're going to have to dry yourself off with a wet towel unless it was microfiber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The microfiber is cool. They also are lightweight. Great for going to the gym, I would say, because they're really small. They can roll up really small, so... Number seven, laundry scent boosters. Mm. I just think that this is really, really key because nowadays, you know, yeah, you could wear um, a lot of cologne and a lot of like heavy body washes. You're saying this replaces cologne? It doesn't necessarily replace cologne, but if your clothes are smelling super duper fresh, it does kind of like, it's something smelling fresh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just saying, I think laundry boosters are heavily, heavily underrated. Wow, wow, Moving wow. on to number eight, Andrew, uh, 18, we've got slim laptop stands. I think I remember the old laptop stands, Andrew. Remember they used to be gigantic pieces of metal? Yeah. They were like forged steel and aluminum. Mm, yeah, now good. they have ones that are just like fold out. They, they, they flatten out into nothing. And I think it's really key because nowadays in 2023, a lot of people are spending a lot of time on the computer, but they're getting the wrong angle. Mm. And they're probably getting a neck crane, you know, some sort of crane neck syndrome. Uh, stress neck or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Moving on, number 19, Andrew, memory foam pillows. Yeah, there's a lot of different ones out there, guys. Uh, I say it's not wrong to, you know, Amazon has a good return policy. I think a pillow is one that you definitely need to test test out it's not wrong to get the ones in the funky shapes too the only unfortunate part is that when you put the uh pillowcase over it it just looks weird mm. because obviously some of the funky shapes they don't fully uh right, right, form right. to it moving on to number 20 under battery packs mag safe ones nowadays they have battery packs that will charge your macbook up that's a new thing Whoa. because battery packs in the past were not powerful right, enough right, to do right. that what do they nowadays, got like 500,000 mhas or what is 24,000 listen guys anchor got them I specifically, I think Anchor makes the best ones. And of course, last but not least, Andrew, number 21. This is, you know, for some guys, this is going to be the one they is get. Is this frivolous? A, uh, mechanical bidet attachment. Listen, they got ones for $20. They got ones for $400 from Japan, from Toto. I'm just saying, a lot of people, when they, once they get this, they say, this is like the best purchase I made in like the last six months. Dang. So, yeah, Andrew, those are 20 different items personally used every day. I can co-sign them. And, of course, the one we can co-sign the most is Smala. Smala sauce. Order it now. If you order it today, you'll get it before Christmas. All right, I everybody. just want to give people just general tips, though. Listen, if you get items that have thousands of reviews, because when, even when you're in the hundreds, it could be a seller, like, faking it. Okay. Once you get into the thousands of reviews and you get 4.5 out of 5, that item at least is going to be a very good value.
Think about it, guys. These are things I use every day. Anyway, guys, let me know what are some other must-haves that are uh, quite affordable for any man of any age. Of course, certain age ranges are going to find these more or less useful. Let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, with the Hot Pot Boys, we out. Peace. Peace.